can't. Uh, yes, it is I, once again, uh, Rocket Man, Nash Rocket, the world according to Rocket, the almost famous podcast. My guest today, I'm so excited, anytime she's near, she put the fab in fabulous, she put the hips in hippie chick, and <laughs> she put the ooh in ooh la la. <laughs> Am I lying? <laughs> Am I lying? Tell me if I'm lying. Go ahead and challenge me. Jasmine, sure. <laughs> I, I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> Thanks for having me again. Oh, man, this is awesome. I'm so glad to do this. Uh, this is the, I don't know, this may be the new normal, right? I sure hope not. I hope you're not, I hope not either. And I'm sitting here looking at my production value, and my production value is as good as any of the newscasts that are now broadcasting, <laughs> because everybody's <laughs> broadcasting just like I am from home, from their base. I know it. Right? I noticed that. Some from the closet. Broadcasting live from the only establishment in town that can't kick him out. His own basement. The world according to Rocket. How are you doing? All well with you? Um, I'm, I'm doing surprisingly well. Yeah. yeah. Well, you look not surprisingly. Well, you look awesome, but I expected that. That didn't sound right, did it? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so how, uh, let's just get right to it here. Uh, we'll just tell people what's going to happen. We're going to talk about this whole, this whole virus thing and the whole social distancing thing and, and how it's affecting our lives. Uh, I kind of have a... I kind of live an isolated existence anyway, because I'm just like an edit freak. I shoot, I edit, I sleep, I occasionally bathe. And uh, obviously I rarely get a haircut. <laughs> uh, do you cut hair by the way? I really need one bad. Uh, I mean, I, I trimmed my own bangs, but that that's as far as I go. Uh, I've, I just, I'm afraid to take these headphones off just to show you what mess is under there. I'm, I'm using the headphones to uh, disguise myself. I'm in disguise today. You so, know, I don't think you're the only one because uh, every time me and my friends send each other Marco Polo videos, it, everyone's got some weird funky thing going on there with their hair. And each time it's different. It, it's actually been a source of amusement for all of us. Well, really, truly. Yes. So, but there's, uh, there's an, uh, what I was saying, uh, let me finish my thought here. I'm kind of an isolated kind of guy because I, I, I live alone and I, uh, I edit a lot and I shoot and I go out occasionally and socialize. And, but this is, so I'm kind of prepared for this kind of lifestyle. You know, I'm kind of, it's not really new, you know, uh, but not being able to get out, not being able to socialize, that's just about, I'm about to, the, I'm on my last nerve on that. How about you? What's going on with you? You know, I think uh, I'm getting to the point of being on my last nerve as well. Um, overall, it hasn't been, you know, a completely terrible experience for me. I've I'm blessed enough to be able to work from home, which is really amazing. So um, I don't have the the stress of you know job loss hanging over my head, um, and I, I feel so incredibly grateful for that. And uh, you know, being someone who's been working really hard, I'm trying to get my album done. I've spent a lot of time alone at home, anyways. Uh, the thing that I miss the most is going social dancing and seeing live music and and going out to eat, really. Yeah, And then, of course, we're still able to go to the parks. So as long as the weather's nice, I'm still outside all the time. Um, so it's, it's presented an opportunity for me to take some time out to kind of rest and, you know, take a break from the hustle and bustle of society. And uh, I found that to be somewhat peaceful. But, you know, I've had my moments just like everyone else where it's like, okay, when is this going to end? And it feels like the twilight zone. Then you start thinking, well, how long is this going to last? And what's going to happen next? And is this the beginning of the end? And <laughs> I mean, I think we've all had um, those thoughts cross our minds here and there. <clears throat> I've, there I've actually been very amused at the very clever and brilliant humor that's been popping up 
uh, on social media and whatnot. Just all the parodies and the goofy videos and the memes. Right. I mean, right. I think um, right now comedic le- relief is uh, an incredibly valuable thing. Yeah, it is. Margaritaville Radio, are you still doing that? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I've got seven shows a week now. Oh, yeah, I guess some things have changed since last time you interviewed me. So um, I went from having two shows a week to seven. Awesome. And, uh, so, yeah, it's awesome. It's great. And um, now do you go downtown to do that or do you do it from home? I was. You know, um, they've got a brand new Margaritaville Hotel here in downtown Nashville. Right. And they built us a studio right there in the lobby. And there's mm-hmm. a window that looks out onto the street and into the lobby and uh, got some really sweet equipment in there. And so that's where I was for a while from December up until the, you know, this whole quarantine thing happened. Right. And, uh, but now I'm, uh, you know, doing my thing from home. Cool. And That's great. Incredibly blessed and humbled to have the opportunity to be able to do that and to be able to provide entertainment for people. Cause, uh, right now radio's not canceled, which is great. Well, and it gives you an opportunity to, um, evaluate and reevaluate what's really important in your life. Right. Your priorities. And, um, you know, maybe deal with some some suppressed emotions that have been hiding under the surface, <laughs> things like that. It's I know a lot of people are having. <laughs> I know a lot of people. I've been chatting with a lot of friends who were all experiencing similar things, where we're um, having some cathartic moments that are really freeing and liberating, and and giving you know more clarity as to you know, who we are, who we want to be and what we want in our lives. And I think that's a beautiful thing. Do you exercise? Do you work out? I have been. Yeah, (laughs) I have been too. (laughs) Uh, And it occurred to me, I came up with some things that come into my head while I walk. All right. Uh, Here here are just a few of them. Uh, Will doing 100 push-ups a day, as I'm now doing, Make me look like Brad Pitt in 90 days. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to laugh. Okay. This is not entertainment. This is just random thoughts. Okay. <laughs> because I ran across it. I saw it on the internet. If you do 100 push-ups a day, at the end of 90 days, you'll look like Brad Pitt. So I'm trying that out. I'm on day five, by the way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and if truth be known, it's the girly push-ups with the knees. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Why is bacon so good? Now, I, you, I would imagine you're kind of a vegan. I would imagine. Am I right about that? No. No, you're not? Oh. <laughs> oh, why did I think that? Uh, why is bacon so good? Another one that came up on my walk today. Rumba, rumba, rumba. <laughs> I am obsessed with dancing. And that's kind of one of the things that is, is major interrupt us here on this thing. Mm-hmm. I was just enjoying it so much and boom, now, uh, now I have to do it uh, online, taking online l- lessons. The other thing and the last thing is 10,000 steps. Really? That's what they recommend to get fit is 10,000 steps a day. That's five miles, right? Yeah, so, that's a lot. <laughs> I did, well, it is a lot, particularly if you're sitting down editing all the time, because then you have to get because you're not just walking around at all. Right. And so then you got to get up and you got to walk the five miles. Um, I try to do it in two and a half mile increments. Right. But it's crazy. And I'm, I'm a bit surly about that. If I'm not doing structured workouts, I'm dan- I mean, I'm not out social dancing, but that hasn't stopped me from getting my groove on around the house. You know what I mean? In the kitchen in the living room, before I work out, after I work out, you know, that's, uh, that's how I, that's how I keep my joy, my sanity. I tell you, uh, uh, you're so adorable and you make me laugh every time I have any kind of communication with you, because I said, we said something, we shared some kind of Facebook message or something. And, and you said, okay, gravy. (laughs) 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 And I totally know what you mean by that. Uh, and it just makes me giggle. You play with words, and I love that about you because I do the same thing. It's just so much fun. Gravy. It is. I mean, I was raised by a really punny guy, so that's kind of where that came from. 
wordplay. Yeah. Runs on my dad's side of the family. Gotcha. So, um, that and I'm an artist and I'm a little bit of a nerd. So, so the last time you were on, uh, you had a brand new music video coming out called uh, Neon Fun, which was fabulous. Mm -hmm. And it was very, very well received here. Um, we got a lot of views. I think probably six, 700 views on that, on that show that you were on. Thank you very much. That was awesome. Um, and now you have another thing out, right? You have another single out from the album. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. I uh, released my second single ever. It's called soul surfing girl. There's a music video that goes along with that as well. And, um, still working on getting the rest of the songs mixed and mastered. It's a process. Um, but getting closer all the time and uh, soul surfing girl. Uh, it was really interesting. I kind of, um, I ran out of budget to hire someone to shoot the video for me. I had already had a friend travel with me to Kauai to shoot some video there. So we have a lot of shots throughout the video of me singing in front of um, Waimea Canyon in Kauai, also known as the Grand Canyon of Kauai. And it's absolutely beautiful. The rain just happened to break just at the right time for us to gather up the gear and I put on, you know, my outfit and then um, it was perfect lighting, partly cloudy. And then a rainbow came out towards the end. It was really <laughs> amazing. So after that, uh, what I did is I seeing is that my budget was wearing thin. I ordered um, a gimbal for my phone and got some just basic lighting and stuff. And anytime I travel to California for business or to see family, I would take my gear with me. And, uh, oh, and I took my drone camera as well and started shooting my own footage and uh, rounded up some women, you know, friends of mine who inspire me and featured them in the video. I wanted to feature a variety of women doing things they love or, you know, just doing things that uh, symbolize, um, you know, strength and overcoming and empowerment. So, uh, and I did my first video edit. It was really, really intense. Uh, yes, I'm pretty it is. happy with it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I worked on it for a little over a month and uh, I know your pain. Yeah, it was crazy, but a great sense of accomplishment for sure. Soul surfing babe. What, what was it? <laughs> Soul surfing girl. Okay. Yeah. Kind so of, the song, kind of similar. <laughs> the song uses the metaphor of learning how to surf with um, overcoming challenges in life. So very nice. Surfing is, um, it's not an easy sport. No, it is not. No, it's I, not. I lived in LA for <laughs> 11 years and I tried it twice and I'm going, okay, some things are just not meant to be. And that was one <laughs> of them. And besides the people in Malibu, when you go out there and you're a Valley guy, they, they're not real. They don't welcome you a whole lot. They kind of give you the side eye a lot. Really? The side eye? Yeah. Dang. I know. Hang on a second. Let me kill I, I hear that. Um, you know, surfers can get kind of uh, territorial. Of oh, they're areas. very. Oh, absolutely. It's if you crazy don't... to me because it's nature. It belongs to everyone. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Am I going to get in trouble? <laughs> Some hate emails from no, saying that. <laughs> it's, different. it's different with you because I don't, I, I don't know how the females deal with that, but the, the dudes deal with it in a completely different way. But, you know, when an attractive young woman comes out to say, Hey, come on over. <laughs> want a beer? <laughs> you want to Right, but when it's dudes and dudes, like they, they their feathers, they're like Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Way. Yeah. That's exactly what it's like. <laughs> I'm just gonna rapid fire some questions. If you know the answer, fine. If you don't, make one up. Uh what would be your theme song of life if it was a theme song? For Jasmine Sheree. All she wants to do is dance. <laughs> <laughs> that's my jam. I mean, that's one of my jams. I have a lot of jams. Listen, that's my jam. That would be my <laughs> song, too. All she wants to do is dance. <laughs> By the way, I sent you videos of me dancing. Did you get them? I did. How? Uh, not bad, huh? I your mean, rumble for... your, your rumble box is looking really smooth. <laughs> Now, there's a sentence I never thought any girl would ever say to me. <laughs> Your rumba box is looking awful smooth. 
Love Are you that. practicing at home? I got to ask you. Oh, absolutely. I am. And, and it's, you know, that was like a couple months ago when I, when those videos were uh, going on, I found, you know, I had these leg surgery uh, three years ago and I'm still recovering from it. And I started, and so it's got me kind of hunched over, you know, and I have cowboy legs to begin with, you know, and uh, cause they're all <laughs> legged. And so uh, I started doing yoga for some reason that has totally liberated me in terms of how my body works as after the surgery, in terms of all the muscles from, you know, the, the feet to the calves, to the rotation inward of the thighs, to the tuck of the glutes and, and on up. And I actually am almost a homo erectus again. I'm almost yeah. <laughs> standing, I'm almost standing straight up again. It's so exciting. And so I'm starting to apply that to my, to my dance. Anyway, you know, you're a talented lady, uh, singer, songwriter, dancer, which we learn is your jam. <laughs> what are, what, are, what is the talent that you have that people would never suspect or guess or know? Um, Maybe roller skating. I, actually, I don't know that I'm talented at that, really. <laughs> I haven't had enough practice. I was taking lessons for a while, learning tricks and stuff, but um, I'm a little behind because I'm not exactly living in California anymore. You know, we don't really have a culture for that here. Secretly in your mind, what do you like to be complimented on or for? Like when you get a compliment for something, obviously you're attractive, lady. If you get a compliment on something and secretly inside you go, yes. I think my favorite compliment is um, someone tells me that I'm fun and refreshing to be around. I would imagine you hear that a lot, <laughs> right? Occasionally. Yeah, well, you are. You're fun and refreshing I, to be around. I think around. that, yeah. When someone compliments my personality, that, that probably means the most to me. Sure. What is your favorite quote? That's a good question. Um, I can't remember the exact words or who the quote was by, but it's, um, it goes something like, seek the wisdom of the ages, but look at the world through the eyes of a child. Ooh, nice. I tell you, uh, <laughs> I'm as happy as a kid in a candy store. Jasmine Sri is a fabulous dancer. Told me that my rumba box was pretty smooth. <laughs> I'm going to be on uh, cloud nine for a week now. Hey, stay safe. Wash your hands. Stay home as much as you absolutely can. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.